Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Grand Cat and today on WWE Supercard we have one of the worst updates in the entire history of the 10 year reigning career of WWE Supercard. It's one of the worst things Cat Daddy has ever done and I'm going to show it to you. This is something you guys really need to complain about because it is, if, like, if this is the way it's going forward, it's atrocious. We need to let them know right now that this is horrible. Now, I'd heard other people complain about this. I hadn't seen it myself because my game doesn't auto-update. But as of just about an hour ago, maintenance happened and we were forced to update the game in order to play it. Now, when I play Wild, I tend to use it to level up or to train up my newer cards. There you can see DM Hunk himself, Solo Score, and Carmelo Hayes. And let's just go in. Literally, this is what I was doing. I was I was playing wild to get those and to get a super meter so I can continue playing campaign mode. And watch this. So everything's all fine. Everything's all the same as it always is. There's a little animation. What the hell is this and why is it unskippable? What is that? It's terrible. And it wastes five seconds. I've counted it. We can count it ourselves. Look, okay, so... I don't even know why the animation... There should be an option to turn off animation. They should have done that years ago. But... One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. My god. And that's every single time. It doesn't even do it just once at the end of Wild. It's after every single game. And it's not just if you win. It's if you lose as well. Why would they do that? Like, all you're doing is making it... Making it take longer. Like, they haven't fixed anything. They've, they've made it worse. This is a step backwards. Well, there's the thumbnail, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully they fix this. Or even if they don't fix it, at least give an option to turn it off. Of which there are none. Ideally give us an option to turn off animations as well, just so that we can get through this faster. Look at it. Even if you lose, it still shows up. What the hell is this? Oh my god. It's headache inducing. It's terrible. It's atrocious. It's horrible. I'm going to screenshot that as well. Maybe that's the, <laughs> the thumbnail. Yeah, I literally can't believe it either, Michael Cole. It's atrocious. It's crap. Oh. My Scottish instincts are telling me to swear, but I know if I do, I'll be demonetized. <laughs> this right before Clash of the Castle. Right before the day of my daughter's wedding. Why would you do this, Cat Daddy? Jesus. The thing is, thankfully, it's only for Wild. If you go into here and you go into war... See, this makes me think that they know this is a bad idea. Because otherwise, they'd have done it for everything. And thankfully, they haven't. So, this is one of these things that's like... Okay, here, let's, let's test it with them. Let's see if they will accept this. And if you guys don't say anything to them, if you guys don't complain, then... Guess what? And also, they still haven't fixed this! Look! The same animation just happened three times. But if you guys don't say anything, they're going to roll out more of these. They're going to make the game worse. They're going to make it crappier. The thing is, they're, they aren't even doing this for a reason. There's no way they can actually get any profit or any kind of monetization or anything off of it. You see, because Raw doesn't have it, or Raw is War. Or War. Whatever they want to call it. That doesn't have it. But if you go into Wild, 
every single time. Is it to try and put people off of playing wild? If you're going to do that, why don't you just remove wild? Unbelievable. Shockingly unbelievable. The other thing I've got to show you guys is... Let's go ahead and do this. Is that there are new fusions. They haven't been revealed yet, but you can go and look at them right now yourself. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. We're going to look at them ourselves. Oh my god. It gives me a headache every time I see it. It makes me sick. It makes me sick to my stomach. And why does it look so crap? Why is there the big screen that comes down? The swipe transition. Used most notably in the likes of the original Star Wars trilogy. And it was crap then. It's disgusting. And why does it take so long? And why is there no option to turn it off? You know how there's the meme that's update and then there's go back? Person smashing the go back button? Where's my go back button? Because this is horrible. As said folks, if you go into card catalog, no not card catalog, sorry. If you go into, what did I click on before? Card totals, uh, no, if you go into card catalog, <laughs> and you go into Enigma, you can see there, there's this brand new shiny Becky Lynch that is shown up. There's also a Blair Davenport. These are your new fusions. So we've got Becky Lynch, Blair Davenport. Chad Gable is the last man standing event card. Also, spoiler, there's no special back for it. It literally just looks the same as the the other event cards. Literally, this is exactly what the Chad Gable looks like. So they've stopped doing away with the, the PvP cards having a different background. I don't know why, because it was nicer to have those, but that's what we're getting. So the fusions are Becky Lynch, Blair Davenport, Chad Gable is the next Last Man Standing that will be coming up very, very soon. We've got R-Truth, Pete Dunn, Sean Spears, The Miz, and Tyler Bate. So those are all of the new fusions. So Tyler Bate, The Miz, Sean Spears, R-Truth, and Pete Dunn. We've got five males, then we've got two females, which are Becky Lynch and Blair Davenport. Weird that Becky Lynch wasn't a regular card in Enigma. Huh. That is unusual. Or R-Truth, considering he's one of the tag team champions. Or Pete Dunne. Part of New Cat Republic. Although New Cat's Republic. Sean Spears makes sense because he's only just newly debuted back. And there was no Miz until just now for Enigma tier. Wow. Entirely bait, unfortunately. On occasion, gets forgotten, as does Pete Dunne. It's very unfortunate. They really should be pushed a lot more, but they are not. In fact, um, is DIY in here? Tommaso Ciampa. There's not. Wow, there's no Tommaso Ciampa. Is there any Johnny Gargano? Huh. Man, W Supercard is really letting the tag division down. That's crazy. But there, there we go, folks. Um, hopefully this is going to like change from CM Punk's main event to that goddamn winner's loser animation for W Supercard that will hopefully last for less than a week. Preferably less than a day. In fact, actually, I'd be quite fine if it disappeared within the next 60 seconds before this video goes up but if you want rid of that horrible horrible animation and god knows i do 
then make sure to let Cat Daddy know that you are not happy and that this is absolutely atrocious and they need to remove it. Or if not remove it, at least give us something in the options to just go, hey, I would like to remove that stupid winner-loser thing because it is absolutely hideous. And that is going to be it for this little video, folks. I really hope that you all enjoyed, and if you did enjoy it, please give me a like, share, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these glorious little videos go out, including the clash at the castle predictions. Spoilers. I am going to put down everyone from Scotland as winning, even though they probably won't. But uh, as a true Scotsman myself, as is what I must do, I must represent my country. Well, a Scots cat, at least. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed and we shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.